Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Jeremy Irons talks trash with EU bureaucrats The UK put in the dock over air pollution The European Union fines Microsoft $731 million Plus, the EU ban on porn is on hold I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit nightly news Third, from our homepage, Jeremy Irons has been on the podium at the EU Commission, promoting his new documentary, Trashed. Mr Irons said, Brussels is a bubble. Every now and then it burps and out comes a bit of legislation. However, I believe that Jeremy is on to something valuable. The way that we all manage rubbish needs to be completely rethought, perhaps taking a long, hard look at its production rather than the management of its collection is the way forward. Apparently we've been very naughty again and the UK is up before the EU Supreme Court. Quick note, the EU Supreme Court, just in case you thought that the highest courts in the land were the High Court and the Old Bailey, well, since the European treaties, they now have to answer to the EU Supreme Court. Anyway, we've been very naughty and breached the EU's air quality directive and so now we must be punished. There is a key point to watch in the story too. Apparently, if the Supreme Court upholds the case, then this will set a legal precedent, whereby enforcement will be a matter for the EU Commission. And this would grant dictatorial power to the Commission, who are already an unelected body. Microsoft was found 561 million euros or 731 million dollars by European Union regulators for violating the terms of a settlement to give users a choice of web browser aside from its Internet Explorer. This article looks at the way Microsoft bundles software. There is a bigger issue at hand, however. Microsoft operates a global OEM, Original Equipment Manufacturer Cartel, and uses its licensing structure to force manufacturers to ship their hardware exclusively with Windows. Why is the only mainstream alternative Apple? And to achieve this, they must make their own hardware as well as software. This has stifled the technology market and snuffed out much innovation from the sector. Android on mobile devices is beginning to change that and Ubuntu Linux is finally starting to make inroads into the market, but the monopoly hold at Microsoft has been costly. The EU Parliament voted to leave out wording from the directive in respect to pornography over concerns that this might lead to internet censorship. The proposal, eliminating gender stereotypes in the EU, would allow the EU to help secure the rights for those across the gender spectrum, particularly women. While the report states that there is an increasingly noticeable tendency to show provocatively dressed women in sexual poses, it also notes that pornography is becoming mainstream and is slipping into our everyday lives as an ever more universally accepted, often idealised, cultural element. As I reported earlier in the year, there is a continuing desire to bring about internet control. Fortunately, organisations such as Anonymous, Occupy and other digital-centric groups are keeping the pressure up. It is vital that you support the organisations to fend off censorship and control of the internet. Today in our video library, MEPs rejected the spending proposals that have been outlined for the EU budget which was agreed last month. This video takes you through the details. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the EUnit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.